All right, once again, hello guys, and welcome back to another class of our course about Excel. So in this course or class, we are going to start the creation of uh, our app. Um, so the way it's going to work, you'll see it's, uh, well, we'll divide it in a lot of uh, smaller steps. Um, so as I said, the first goal here will be to create, uh, to link our database with uh, this app. So the first thing we want to do is generating a place where we'll have all the IDs of our employees. So what I'll ask you guys to do is uh, very simple. Simply link uh, cells together and it's uh, supposed to give you something that looks like this. So simply link uh, one, well, the first step will be number, then the second step, uh, you, you take another, well, let's say another cell. And after that, you will have a link, let's say, some cells together. At least you can link six cells. It's very important. You'll see. Uh, you can link more if you want. From this point, uh, since we'll have more than one employee, uh, we'll copy and paste everything. So we'll work only on our first employee right now. All right. So the next step, when we have this, we'll simply merge those cells together. And from now on, uh, what we'll need to do is from this uh, number from the employee ID, we will generate the name and uh, the salary of the employee. So very simple. We'll have to write it down first. So here we'll have our employee name. Here we'll have the pay of the employee. Perfect. All right, so right now, what is the name of our employee or the number one, the employee number one? Um, so as I said here on uh, the first sheet, you can add them names. So we'll name it N1. All right, so what we want to do, we want to generate the name of our first employee. So how exactly we'll do this? We'll use a VLOOKUP function in this case. So we'll simply write down equal VLOOKUP. And we are looking up at, the, at this number in this database. And we want Excel to generate the second column. So in this case, we have the number one. Uh, number two, sorry. And want Excel to generate the number two. So as you can see, uh, N1 is uh, the number that we are looking for. So I repeat for those who didn't understand, very simple VLOOKUP function. We are looking up for the B8, this cell, in this database, which is on the sheet one. So on this uh, sheet, in this database that is here. And we want Excel to generate us the second column. So the second column is this one. So if we change the ID of our employee, for example, put on number two, the name will change to number two. All right. Next thing we want to do is calculate the pay of our employee. Uh, so what is the pay of our employee in this uh, case? Well, hourly pay. Uh, in this case, we'll do the exact same thing. So we'll do a VLOOKUP. We're going to look up for this value in our whole database and in this case we'll generate the third fourth fifth sixth so we'll ge generate the sixth column so we'll write down number six and as you can see we have the salary of our employee which in this case is 22 dollars so as you can see it's just there employee number two 22 dollars all right perfect right now we have our employee pay and the name of our employee the next step will be generating the first day of work. So in this case, what I'll ask you guys to do is uh, very simple. You'll take uh, some cell, you'll take three cells together, three by two, and you'll merge them together. So let's say here we'll write down Sunday. All right. So how all this will work, um, we will create two time frames. So we'll have uh, the morning the break and uh, the afternoon. And uh, one last thing, every time that you guys are uh, going to use a cell with a color in it, 
it's going to be a cell that we will write down data in it. So for example, cell number two, you can put on color in it. This means that cell number two can be modified. The cell, those cells that are staying white, well, you will not, we will not modify them. You will not write nothing in them because we have formulas in them. All right. So as I said, we'll do the exact same thing here. We will have uh, two cells. So those two cells uh, will generate uh, us from when the person start. Well, from where, when to when the person worked. So let's say, for example, the person worked from 8 a.m. to, let's say, 12 a.m. And then the person worked, let's say here from 13 p.m. to let's say 16 p.m. All right, so when we have this, next thing we wanna do is uh, simply merge some other cells together. And we want Excel to calculate uh, the difference between 12 and, uh, and 8. So how do we do this? Um, it's very, very simple. We simply write down, in this case, equal this cell minus this cell. And we'll have to multiply it by 24 uh, to be able to receive an answer that makes sense. So very simple, simply put it in general. As you can see, the answer is four. So we'll do the exact same thing lower here, simply copy it and uh, paste it. And as you can see, the answer is three. All right. Then you can just merge cells to make it a bit more presentable. Perfect. So right now we know exactly that the person worked from 8 to 12 and then worked from 13 to 16. So we have a bit more cells here. So if, for example, you want to add more uh, moments where, when the person works, well, you have uh, more cells that you can work with. All right, so this is our first uh, database. Uh, first database, sorry. It's uh, how, man how many times the person worked for the first day. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, add the second day so for example for monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday so this is exactly we what we are going to do so you can simply copy and pass the the first day seven times because it's uh, seven days and then change change the days so monday tuesday Friday and Saturday. All right, so we have all our days. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, calculate how many hours the person worked in this week. So how will we calculate this? Well, it's very simple. We'll simply make the sum of uh, all worked hours every day. So we'll do it right here. Uh, want to see it in uh, Right? So very simple. How will we calculate it? Simply write down equal and make an addition of all the worked hours here. Right, perfect. So as you can see, the person worked 49 hours this week because it worked uh, seven hours a week, uh, seven days a week. Once again, uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So we can, for example, change uh, the hours to zero. For example, the person didn't work here. The person didn't work here. The person haven't worked here. So as we can see, we have uh, 40 hours of work. All right, from now, what we wanna do is uh, simply write down there the, what's, uh, what this case means. So it's total, hours worked all right so we know that the, per the first employee 
worked exactly 40 hours. Then we want to calculate how, may, how much money the first employee made. So in this case, we'll do the exact same thing. So weekly income. All right, so we have our weekly income right there and we'll simply merge all the cells together. Once again, the presentation is up to you. Me personally, I present it this way because it's uh, very easy to do. But if you wanna do the presentation a bit differently, it doesn't really matter. All right, so how do we calculate our weekly income? Very simple, we'll simply multiply the total hour worked by the salary or the pay of this person, the hourly pay. So as you can see, we have our weekly income just there which is $900. This person make $960 uh, in only wage, well, salary for the week. All right, so what we wanna do next is uh, very simple. We want to add uh, more of uh, our, well, more calculations for more employees. Uh, so what we'll do is very simple. We'll simply copy all this and paste it. In this case, we'll have our employee number two and we'll have to change the formulas since uh, we have, uh, well, since it's uh, it doesn't really match. Because as you can see, we are looking here for a number B20. So how can we change formulas? I'll show you a quick way to do it since it's, uh, well, it's very simple. Uh, we have to lock those cells to don't have to come back uh, to our past cheat every time. So simply lock the cells. So this way the database will be locked. Do this for uh, both formulas. And th this should prevent you from uh, having an issue with the formulas. So try to copy and paste it. And as you can see, it makes a bit more sense. All right. So right now we simply copy everything and we can paste it. So the goal is to do this uh, 10 times since we have 10 employees. You'll see it's going to create a pretty big database. But once again, the goal here is uh, really to create something that makes, well, that will help us make the calculation. So to calculate two weeks of uh, pay. All right, right now I did it for five employees. So we can simply copy everything and past it. And from now on, simply change the numbers. So six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 employees. Perfect. So as you can see, Excel automatically calculates everything. So right now we have our first, uh, well, not database, but we created the schedule for our first week of work for 10 employees. Uh, the next thing we wanna know is uh, how much uh, time every person, well, how much time in total uh, have been worked on the first day. So for example here, how much time have been worked. So the way we'll calculate this is uh, very simple. We'll add uh, a cell here that will be total worked and we'll simply merge two cells together and the second one will be total worked in hour, hours. Great. So from now on, we can calculate how many hours and uh, how much uh, money have been uh, have been uh, given into salary each and every day. So how do we calculate the worked hours? It's uh, very simple. We'll simply click on equal and add all worked hours together. So you'll see we have uh, a lot of worked hours. 
So after that, what's cool with Excel is that we will be able to make copy and paste to all those worked hours. Next step, you'll see it's going to be a bit more harder since we are going to calculate uh, the salaries. Well, it's not more harder. It's going to be just a bit more long since we'll have to make a lot of uh, multiplications and additions. All right. So until now, we are supposed to receive uh, to have received our worked hours. Once again, maybe I made a mistake and uh, forgot one or two cells but you get the main goal. Um, yes, I forgot one uh, cell here. So it's very important to verify. Uh, but once again, you got uh, the main goal. It's uh, simply adding up together all the cells with the, the worked hours. All right, the next step will be to calculate uh, how much uh, wage have been paid on the first day. So how do we calculate this? It's uh, very simple. We simply click on equal and we will make our first calculation, which will be the first working day multiplied by the wage case. And what we'll do also, we'll lock the wage case because it's going to help us when we'll do our copy and paste. So very simple. We'll do this for uh, each of our employees. Uh, we'll simply make an addition of uh, their worked hours and then multiply everything by uh, their worked uh, wage so i would i will be doing this for the next let's say one minute so if you want to jump to the next uh part where i have i'm done uh, doing this uh, you can When you guys are done, don't forget to put uh, to lock your uh, cells by uh, which you have multiplied uh, all your Excel table. And from that moment, uh, what we'll do, we'll simply copy and paste everything to the next cell that is right uh, next to it. So we'll be able to calculate the total wage and uh, not only the total wage of today. So how much uh, time have been, how much time have been worked but also how much uh, money have been paid to salary each and every day. All right, so next step, what we want to do here is uh, simply copy and uh, paste everything. So you can take this, copy and paste it. Once again, it's normal that we receive the same answers because we didn't modify our working hours. So how much hours every one worked. Um, so that's for the first week of work, as you can see it here. Uh, our next step will be to calculate the second week of uh, work since we have we right now know how much uh, time everyone works the first week. Uh, how we'll do this? It's uh, very simple. You can simply select the whole table that we just did, copy it and paste it 
right next to our first uh, first thing. Uh, all right, so very simple. Uh, from now on, what we'll do is uh, simply here, write down a equal and we'll click on one. This way we'll not have to modify uh, in both places. So add the first employee here and first employee here. So as you can see, uh, right now we'll be able to calculate two weeks of uh, salary in uh, just one Excel database. Right, so this is for uh, our Excel, uh, well, for the, the first database. Uh, right now, what we want to do is simply hide all this since we want uh, to have something that is a bit more presentable. And we can add, for example, here a place where we are going to write uh, what exactly is this table. So let's say it's uh, pay yearly pay one. So we can give him a name. So let's say this is the yearly pay one. So as you can see right now, you can modify all the cells where you have uh, color. And this way you will uh, change the, the answer at the end. So for example, here I want to modify the person who worked from 8 a.m. to let's say uh, 11 a.m. Well, I can. And as you can see, it's going to automatically modify how much time the person worked this week. What is the weekly income of this person? how much uh, wage have been paid that day. Everything will be modified and uh, you can create, you can really create the, well, the database, not the database, but uh, the schedule that you want. So this is for our first part of the course where we created our schedule. So the person will be able to schedule it uh, employees. So we have our first part of the day where the person worked, the br then after that, the second part of the day. So we have the first part, the break, the second part. And if the person didn't take a break, we can simply write nothing here and it will calculate it as the value of zero. So as you can see, it's uh, very, very cool. Uh, since we can right now calculate automatically the schedule of ten, the 10 of our employees. So that's it for this course, guys, and see you all in our next class.